Hey guys, right now I am at Haneda Airport in Tokyo. I'm actually here to pick up a friend who's flying into Japan. I figured I'd show you guys just how deserted this airport is compared to what it normally is like. So yeah, we'll do a walk and talk and we'll go out here actually to the uh, observation deck. Let's walk out here and do some plane spotting while we walk. Wow. You're gonna... You're gonna be hearing some airplanes though. That's for sure. So the topic I wanted to talk about kind of fits in with airports. Like airports are kind of places that you might find yourself a little bit homesick or eager to get home and stuff like that. So the topic of this video is, do I feel like Japan feels like home? Do I consider it home? Now, you know, some people would think that, oh, you've only lived here for four years. It's a little dramatic to say that you feel like Japan is home when you aren't fluent yet in the language when everything is still so like new and shocking to you and yeah it, it might be a little dramatic saying that but also to kind of put it in perspective for you i've lived here for over four years and i'm 28 now so i moved here when i was just barely 24 years old and so if you think like the first time i had an apartment and graduated college and kind of the planes sound so cool. Woo! You can see them really close. I'll have to show them to you guys. So most people would say when you're 18, that's like the start of your adult life. But then some people would also say when you graduate college and like kind of live on your own, maybe have your own apartment, um, have a full-time job, that's kind of when your adult life starts. And if we're basing it on that, I graduated college when I was 21. So, and, and then had like a full-time job and my own apartment and stuff like that. I wasn't in like my college bubble, right? Like I kind of was experiencing the real world for the first time. So if you start from there, I've been an adult for about seven, seven-ish years. If you start from when I graduated college, got a full-time job, got into the real world. Seven, seven years of actual adult life, right? Well, I've lived in Japan for over half of those years over half of my adult life has been in Japan. So maybe it's not quite as dramatic to ask that question. I often think about how sometimes college students, when they leave their hometown and they go and live in their college town, some of them, that's, that feels like their home. And a lot of people, they grow up moving all the time. Like I know some people, they live in the same town for their entire life, but then some people like, have a harder time grasping on a certain place that feels like home and i'm not talking about like with family and friends like obviously you always feel at home with your family and friends and your loved ones right that's not really what i'm talking about it's more of like the place you know yo this is a great view of tokyo by the way There's a lot of things to consider when you call a place what you feel like, you call a place like you feel like it's home, right? There are things in America that I don't know how to do that I know how to do in Japan. Like filing taxes or doing certain paperwork things or like knowing where to go to do, doing, doing like certain life paperworky boring things, right? That I know how to do in Japan. I would say that I know my way around Japan better than I know my way around uh, the town where I spent 10 years of my life in Virginia. I feel like I know places in Tokyo almost better than I, I know places back in my little small town in Virginia, right? So, and you also have to think about like, this is where me and my husband reside. And so because I have him here as a family member and like, We've lived at our apartment now um, for like two and a half years, which is longer than any apartment I've ever lived in uh, consistently. Like in the States, I was always moving from an apartment to an apartment to an apartment like every year, sometimes less. And you know, that even counts like if you're, and if you're a college student, you're probably moving dorm rooms all the time too, right? 
it feels homey to me like this apartment that I'm in now that I've been in for two and a half years and it's my apartment feels like home versus any apartment I've had in the States for like 12 months. So there's that. I know this is kind of like a non-answer, but it just depends on your definition of home, right? Like to me, home is where my friends and loved ones are. And like you can, you can have more than one, you know, like America is my home for sure. It's like my home uh, country. It's like a culture that I halfway understood. <laughs> Uh, it's the language that I speak. It's where like all of my friends and loved ones live. But Japan easily is a second home to me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's kind of like you can act too, right? Like it's like being a college. And again, it's like being a college student going away to college in a different town. And maybe after four years, and you you make so many friends, and uh, that's your home. But also, where you came from is also your home too. This might be it. That might be Andrew's plane. Hold on. Hold on. I can't see it in the camera. No, it's... I'm sorry. That's landing at a completely different terminal. Oh, there's two planes. Which one is it? There's one flying in from there. I know the camera cannot even pick it up. I'm pretty sure it's this one. It looks way bigger. Saying A. Yep, that's the one. Yay! <laughs> also, before I go inside, found the Star Wars one, the R2-D2 ANA plane. That's so cool. I want to ride that plane. What a cool design. It's actually getting really chilly out here even though it's June. It's late June. I'm so cold. So we're gonna go inside and talk a little bit more. Here's a good example of something that's closed. The Don Quixote here. Sora Donkey. The Don Quixote, it's closed. Oh my gosh. Inside it's just like boxes and just nothing. Everything's shut down in there too not just that it's like everywhere in the airport <laughs> i had to just grab a snack earlier i was gonna eat something like for real but i couldn't do that because so many of the food places are closed there's a few open but my friend arrived but it'll probably take him some time to get through customs i'd imagine there's actually like a lot of people right here for some reason maybe they're they just came back from the observation deck it just started raining so People might be leaving there. You've got some shops that are open down there, but a lot of these are restaurants and they're closed. But some of the gift shops are open. Ah, here's a really crazy example of some of the food places that are closed. So this is where they would put like the wax. You've probably seen in other Japan videos um, or if you've been to Japan, they'll do like wax art in a way of the food that they sell. Um, here we go, there, there's a good example. These, and so that shelf back there was supposed to be meant for these, but they no longer display their food. Someone ripped the hole in this one. So yeah, this is the kind of food that they served here. Who knows how long they've been closed? I'm sure at least the last two years. Looks like there are some places open. There's a ramen place right here that's open. So, you know. You're not completely without choices. All right, let's head downstairs. Oh, another crazy thing. The down escalators are all out of service. <laughs> They're all out of service, the up ones are working, but almost all of the down escalators that I've seen, they've decided to close off, so you've gotta take the stairs. Look how empty the departures is. This is the departures floor. This is relatively empty. I've been to Haneda Airport, I've flown through it. Uh, before 2020 and it's definitely more busy than this I can tell you that much guess who's here I'm here <laughs> I'm not dead and I made it through customs and immigration without the COVID as they say 
Can you say that on YouTube yet, or do they like demonetize you? I don't know. It's good to have you back. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to them earlier about does Japan feel like home to me? That's the question I was a answering mm. in my uh, like walk and stuff. Mm. So, I mean, if you guys don't know, uh, Andrew lived here for four so, years, four and, a half. four and a half years, and then left Japan for almost a year and then came back. It only took me six months to realize mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Lots of mistakes were made. I have made it. It is hot 